we go. OK, let's move on. So here we have the two girls and they've made an array. Do you remember we made arrays in class last term? So they have columns which go down. And they have rows which go across, don't they? So this girl is saying I can write four different multiplications with this array. And the other girl says she thinks there are eight. Now let's do some problem solving. Well, let, I'll start you off. I can see that there are 24 counters there. So we could say that there is one group of 24. So we could say one multiplied by 24. Now, are there any others? Pause the video and have a think. OK, should we see if you were right? So, first one, one multiplied by 24. That's what I said, wasn't it? There's a group of 24 counters. What about if we did two multiplied by? What would it be? Would it be two multiplied by 12, wouldn't it? There you go. There's two groups, two equal groups of 12. What about three multiplied by? What would that be? Yes, it'd be three multiplied by eight because we can make with those counters three equal groups of eight. Now you can see a pattern here. One multiplied by, two multiplied by, three multiplied by, about four multiplied by. Yes, four multiplied by six. There you go. So we can make four equal groups of six with the same counters. Now let's see what the other girl says. So she says you can also have 24 multiplied by 1, 12 multiplied by 2, 8 multiplied by 3, and 6 multiplied by 4. <clears throat> so, is she correct? Yes, she is, isn't she? Because multiplication is commutative. So we can switch the two numbers round and it gives us the same whole, gives us the same answer, doesn't it? Now here, we have a missing number. Now this is quite tricky, isn't it? So we're going to need four groups of something to make 12. So let's get our counters, well, our cubes. We're going to make four groups of something. So here's our four groups. We're going to put one counter in each, two counters in each. Oh, I wonder how many more we can have. Ah, oh, there we go. We've used all our counters now. We have four groups and there are how many in each? Yes, there are three in each, so we can have four multiplied by three. OK, now, because it's commutative, can we make four groups of something? Sorry, can we make three groups of something? Let's have a look. So. Here's our one group. So our two groups, there's our three groups. So we can also, with the same counters, do three times by four. So we have three equal groups of four, which is also 12. Okay, so here are some other multiplication sentences. Now, if you have some objects at home that you can use, even if it's pieces of pasta, this might help you. So pause the video now and see if you can fill in the missing numbers. OK, should we see if you were right? So something multiplied by 2 equals 18. So we are going to need 2 in each group, aren't we? So how many groups are we going to have? Well done, we're going to have 9 groups, aren't we? So 9 multiplied by 2 is 18. Now the next one. Don't worry, I know the holes at the start, but we've learned about that in class. You can do that. You don't have to have the hole at the end. Now, 15 equals 3 multiplied by something. Now, we need three groups. How many are going to be in each group? Did you work it out? Yes, that's right. It's five in each group, isn't it? Now, last one, we need to find the hole. So we need eight groups of two. Eight multiplied by two. What was the answer? Yes, that's right. It was 16, wasn't it? Now, 
what we're going to do now is we are going to look at another reasoning question. So this is even more challenging than the last ones. So there were eight boxes with two bottles in each box. And Lena says the multiplication for this problem is eight multiplied by two. And the boy says the repeated addition for this problem is two plus two plus two plus two plus two plus two. Plus two. Now, who is correct? Pause the video and have a think. Right, should we see if you are correct? Now, there are eight boxes and they each have, so there's eight groups and they each have two bottles in each. So there's eight equal groups of two. So if we were writing our multiplication, we'd need to put the eight at the start, wouldn't we? And we need to multiply it by how many are in each group. So yes, the girl is right, isn't she? Eight multiplied by two is correct because there's eight boxes and there's two bottles in each. Now let's have a look at the boys. So how many groups of two does he need? He needs eight, doesn't he? And how many has he written? One, two, three, four, five, six. He's only got six boxes. So how many more boxes would he have to add to make it to eight? Yes, he'd have to add two, two more times, wouldn't he? He'd have to have two plus 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 two. Plus two. So the girl is correct, isn't she? So she's correct because the repeated addition is meant to be what we said. He needs to add two eight times because there's eight boxes, eight groups with two bottles in each box. So what I'd like you to do now is finish the first worksheet off that you started. Now, when you finish that, I want you to have a go at the more challenging question, which is on the extension sheet that I've sent, which is called Year 2 Maths, 11th of January, Resource 2. OK, brilliant. Thank you, Year 2. I'll see you soon. Bye.